The Indian Navy today has more than 150 warships and operates across the spectrum of naval operations, from humanitarian aid to maintaining combat readiness. What's more important, it is primarily an indigenous navy. The turn towards self-reliance is a saga of audacity and vision. A saga embodied in the indigenously designed guided missile frigates, the Godavari class. She was soon followed by Ganga and finally the youngest of the class, INS Gomti. The erstwhile Gomti, a hunt class destroyer, served from 1953 to 1979. The second Indian ship to bear the name, Gomti was commissioned on 16th April 1988 by Captain KMS Raja. Gomti's modern sensors and combat system, as well as anti-air and anti-ship missiles, made her a formidable asset. Her two multi-purpose seeking helicopters were force multipliers, providing her with extended reach and weapon capabilities. In 2011, Gomti and her sister ships were modernized and fitted with advanced surface-to-air missiles. She was also converted to a UAV control platform, enhancing the fleet's surveillance capability. Since hoisting the white ensign, Gomti has seen and done it all. She has travelled more than 800,000 nautical miles. That's twice the distance to the moon and back. The Chatar Manzil, a stronghold of the freedom fighters during India's first war of independence, is a proud part of Gomti's crest. Guided by her motto, success is born of action. Gomti participated in numerous naval operations and was awarded the prestigious Unit Citation for Operational Excellence in 2009 and once again in 2020. Her achievements made her a legend. But even legends come to rest. have an end to a journey, but it is the journey that matters in the end. And what a memorable one Gomti's had. But she's not done yet. A part of her is going back to the banks of the river Gomti to be amusing. For me, the decommissioning of Gomti is an emotional moment. But it's also a rite of passage. It won't be long before Gomti is back in a new and more potent avatar. Till then, 